I don't fuck, fuck with you. You, you, you little stupid ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. you hello, hello, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and this is a little bit of a random movie to review. I admit that. I am talking about Fist Fight. Fist Fight is a 2017 comedy film that I had on my list of films from last year to watch eventually. Forgot about it and then realized, oh shit, maybe I should check this movie out. I finally did that. It is directed by Richie Keen. And the plot. The plot is we see Charlie Day as Andy. He's a teacher at this high school, this horrible, horrible high school where the kids are assholes. And one day, Strickland, who's another teacher, played by Ice Cube, he does some messed up shit to one of the classes and Charlie Day tells on him. And this gets Ice Cube fired. So Ice Cube goes up to him and says, look, motherfucker, after school, I'm going to kick your ass. And that's that. Charlie Day does everything that he can do to try to get out of it, to avoid it. But the fight does happen. What I thought of Fist Fight was... I didn't hate this movie. I didn't. I didn't love it. And I'm not even sure that I like it. I just thought it was decent. Decent at best. Let's talk about Charlie Day. Charlie Day is one of those guys who... Yes, I have never seen an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I haven't. I know some people watch it. Some people love it. Uh, people enjoy him on that show, at least from what I hear. So I'm sure he's good on that show. I'll just take their word for it. My first exposure to Charlie Day was Horrible Bosses. And that movie is funny. And he's really funny in that film. Every other movie that I've seen Charlie Day in, though, he's been annoying. He's been annoying or just too spastic, too over the top. And, he, and he's a little bit of that here. But at least I understand his craziness this time around he's nervous he's afraid he's put in a situation where sure if you're not a fighter you're going to be deathly afraid of any type of physical activity especially fighting with a guy like ice cube ice cube he's basically playing the the character he played in 21 jump street the really angry cop who curses all the time and it's just a dick and it was really funny in those movies the problem here is that it's more of that you just get more and more scenes of it there are still funny moments with him there are still moments that that are amusing but it's just too much when i look at this high school it's so overblown it's so over the top who knows maybe high schools today are this bad maybe kids are just absolute dicks but this is criminal these kids are doing some just criminal like they should be put in prison for some of the stuff that you see them doing here there's no way that nothing can be done that teachers are just helpless the senior prank that they pull is something that is too much i remember my senior prank where and i say we I wasn't even a part of it. I heard about it, but I didn't physically do it. Where they flooded the hallways and, and flooded the auditorium. And it was really messed up. And I think some people were on the ceiling of the high school, the roof, throwing water balloons at people. And yeah, it's messed up. Don't get me wrong. But trust me, when you see the hardcore stuff they do here, it's pretty bad. And the principal just accepts it. He's just like, there's nothing we can do. They're seniors. They're going to leave soon. Bullshit. Our principal threatened to take away prom, threatened to take away our graduation. Maybe he was bullshitting, but he put the fear of God into us. It worked. And I just think the teachers and the principal here were, were just careless, threw their hands up too early. Uh, some of the other characters, Jillian Bell, who is one of those actresses that I do like seeing in comedies. I, I, I find her funnier more so than not this movie she had her moments but once again the theme of the movie is that it's too much of the same one joke 
level of material where she's constantly hitting on the teenagers. And with every time I feel like I go online and I see another 20 something year old teacher who's having sex with like a 15, 14 year old kid. And I go, first of all, where were these teachers when I was in high school? That's one. But two, it, it just gets, again, overdone, overdone. Uh, Tracy Morgan, who I usually find annoying, I didn't find him annoying here. He was a lot more pulled back and not as loud and yelling as he usually is. Christina Hendricks plays Miss Monette, who the only thing I couldn't get past every time she was on screen was how huge her boobs were. I'm like 90% sure that's not her real boobs, but just, you're, you can't help but stare. And yet the movie never really pays mention to it. Her character is just a straight up bitch to Charlie Day and just weird and has this obsession with wanting to stab people. And again, I didn't really find that all that funny. There's even one moment where Charlie Day, he calls the cops to say, hey, I'm afraid for my life or my health here. And they just laugh at him. So it's stuff like that that I just roll my eyes and go, people wouldn't really act like this in real life. All of this stuff probably would have made me give the movie as some old bullshit probably if the fight wasn't damn good the fight actually was good again over the top yes when you actually see how well charlie day does do in the fight and how they don't hold back how they are using weapons it's like a wwe hardcore match i loved it so if I were to rate this movie, I know it's been out for a little while, but just to put some perspective, it probably would have been a some old bullshit, but because of the fight, because of the few laughs and few chuckles I got, it's going to be a Netflix and chill. Oh yeah. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you too saw this fight, what did you think of it? Am I being too harsh? Did you like it more than I did? Or do you think I'm being too nice and do you think it absolutely sucked? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! Press repeat forever, ripping smooth as leather season. Lemon pepper, gotta piece it together like I wrote it in the etch a sketch. Concentration breaks away, it shakes away how lyrics are solid.